So one of the things we're going to be showing you is my, my old sketchbook. And when I say old sketchbook, these were drawn about six or seven years ago. And in this book here, I've got lots of black and white sketches of, of Liverpool. And we're going to be showing you some of the actual sketches on location shortly. Um, but I just want to talk a few moments about why these drawings are really special to me. Because when I started urban sketching many, many years ago, the first location that I was really interested in trying to capture was, was Liverpool and really it's because of the emotional connection with that particular place. You know, if you want to go off and create art on location, the place itself has got to mean something to you. And I think familiarity and knowing these places and having a history behind them is really important. So these drawings are quite special to me because I've, I've, I've grown up around here. So I'm going to be taking you around taking it on a little tour of my sketchbook, visiting these locations and showing you some of the places that have inspired me. And it's because of these now, I'm able to do what I do all around the world. You know, I can capture stories and locations in, in, in America, um, in, in, you know, in, in Europe, in France, in Italy, in Spain, and all these places, because it all started here in, in, in Liverpool you know, sketching places that you're comfortable with, you understand the layers behind them, the story, the narrative, the people, all those sort of things. I think they matter and they all get built up over a period of time and it makes you more comfortable with capturing those kind of stories. So it's a special place for me and these drawings are really, really special as well. So this is the next sketch that I want to, to show you and I've got quite an interesting story about this. This, this is a light ship, so basically it's a lighthouse on a ship and it's called the Planet. And it was docked here in September of 2016 because I came and sat on this location and I sketched it. <clears throat> and it's a bright red ship. Now, as you can see from the view behind, it's not there anymore because a couple of years after I sketched it, it got taken away. Now, it used to be it used to be like a bar, you could go on there, there was like a little platform that took you across and you could have a drink and a bite to eat and it was wonderful. Lots and lots of people used to come, it was really, really popular. But then in 2018, the local authorities discovered that the people that owned this light ship and had turned it into a bar hadn't paid their tax bill. And apparently the guy's excuse was, I'd forgotten to pay my tax bill. So anyway, they took it away, took it down to Bristol where it is now. So it's not there anymore, which is kind of a funny, funny story really. But when it was here, it was the most brilliant subject to draw because it's bright red. Now I've not done it bright red. I've just done it in a hatching technique. But what I have done in terms of going forward as a learning thing for me as an artist is behind the light part, the light lighthouse part of it, is this bright modern building, which is like a super kind of black shape. So what I've done is by making this super black, it kind of accentuates the shape of this and it pops it forward. Also, I've tried to capture some of the iconic buildings that you can see in the background. So that's the port of Liverpool, which we saw on the ferry cruise earlier on. And then we've got this kind of really modern building here, which I've compressed. So I'm really starting to think about editing here, editing things, shaping them in different kind of ways, compressing the space, making them much smaller, using lots of black space behind in the background to jump things forward, using some Tombow black on these bollards and on these lamps as well to jump forward in terms of the, the, the front elevation, making the foreground much more pronounced. So in terms of learning for me as an artist, I'm really starting to play around with lots of shapes and forms and, and techniques as well. But it's sad that the boat's actually gone because Canning Dock just does not look the same anymore. And there's nowhere around here to get a drink, which is like such a pity, but that's what happens when you don't pay your tax bill. So the next one I want to show you on our little trip through my 2016 sketchbook is this one here of Matthew Street, which we've actually done for you again as part of the course. We've rocked up in the same location where I sketched about seven years ago. Now, as you can see, this is a slightly different drawing because this took me a lot longer. I mean, the demonstration sketch we've done was about 30 minutes maybe. This is like an hour and a half. 
So back then I was a little bit slower at working, but this is because like the others, I'm working things out. So things like this big expanse of white space down here on the right hand side, using it as a positive part of the picture, allowing this part to become quite intense in terms of detail and tone. So it's got a nice kind of tonal contrast between the two, which really takes you that, takes that part right into the picture. So you can imagine yourself walking down Matthew Street, going under this amazing banner that says the Beatles, going around the corner, going to the Cavern Club, going past the statue of Scylla Black. So it's all about creating that kind of space which enables you to walk into the scene. And again, like other things I've been doing, is working out little stylizations to create brickwork, using the Tombow brush pens to ping inside these little individual shapes, putting some kind of shading and modeling down there as the tonal value transits down towards the bottom. Just need to move before we get killed by a truck. So that um, wholesale is dropping off beers, wine, spirits, Alka Pops and Minerals. Because as we said before, this is a really, really busy part of Liverpool, full of pubs and bars, and obviously they're replenishing their stocks. So all the bars have got plenty of drink, which is kind of what you need in a place like this, especially on a Saturday night. Anyway, this is my sketch, done many, many years ago, and you can see things haven't changed that much over the years. So here we are in the Albert Dock, just going through some of my sketches from many, many years ago when I first started doing this kind of thing out on location. And behind me, you can see the kind of the inside basin of the Albert Dock. And this is a view that I sketched from this spot in 2016. And this is one of the very, very first times I used the Tombow brush pens. So this is me before I started teaching all this kind of thing, before I started traveling, just kind of working things out in a scene which was really familiar to me, which was the Albert Dock. And incidentally, I used to come here when I was a sort of 17, 18 year old art student. I used to come here and the very first experiences I had of sketching outside and capturing cityscapes was the Albert Dock. I mean, it didn't look anything like this now. Today it's like really smart and trendy with bars and stuff. Back then it was like super, super scruffy and untidy. But the point is, I'm going back in time sketching these. I'm going back and capturing all these patterns, these kind of black windows sitting against a white kind of facade putting all these railings in and all these chains and these huge big kind of posts in as well capturing the cobbles on the floor down here and really just experimenting with materials for the first time having so much fun but having no idea where it's going to take me okay and here's another sketch from my kind of old urban sketching book from 2016 and we're on the opposite side of the dock basin so just before I was just kind of over there okay just on that point there looking back this way now I'm on the opposite side and you can see there's a lot of tonal variety in this so this is me kind of like really experimenting with these Tombow brush pens getting lots of kind of black value lots of mid grey value using the Tombows at the bottom here to capture these little stones and just having so much fun and being really kind of experimental, you know, working things out, not knowing where I'm going to be heading with this, not realising that at some point I'm going to be sticking colour on, working on a much, much bigger scale, using Fabriano sketchbooks, but just really capturing stories of being on location in a place that I'm really familiar with. 